I just want to show you a prime example of what you do not want to do and how your activewear can look if you don't wash it proper. This is what I ruined from Alpha Lee, and these are not cheap, okay? So you see all like this balling and this like peeling. It's because I put this in the dryer, and when you do that, it completely destroys the fabric. Even if I lint roll it, like it's just not the same, and it has this like weird, I don't know, like texture to it it's not soft and buttery like how it's supposed to be and it just looks raggedy and i haven't even had this for that long so definitely follow the tips in this video today if you have active wear and it looks like this girl it's probably because you did something wrong so i'm going to share how you can preserve your active wear to last as long as possible and how it can continue to look brand new after months and months and months of wearing it in the gym and washing it over and over because this is not it spending fifty dollars forty dollars on a sports bra don't ruin it <laughs> take the time to care for your pieces because it's an investment at the end of the day sit back sit back relax relax ease your mind just a little bit, a little bit. Sit back. i'm doing a video that nobody asked for but i feel like it could be very beneficial for all of my fit girls that are like me. You invest a lot of your money. You know, a bulk of your paycheck goes to your Alpha Lee, your Buff Bunny, your Gym Shark. That stuff is expensive. So I just got back from the gym. Um, pretty sweaty. I don't like my clothes to sit in sweat. So I like to do laundry twice a week. Just so one, I have my favorite items on rotation that I can pull from to wear to the gym and two, so my clothes don't smell. So this video is just going to document how I do my gym laundry and just the tips that I have for you guys. If you feel like you are spending so much on your gym attire and maybe it's not lasting as long as you think, maybe you think that the quality of the items are trash, but it turns out you're not washing your clothes the right way. So this is my laundry bag. It's pretty full. When it gets full, that's how I know it's time to do a load. So the first tip I'm going to have for you guys is to make sure you're not just dumping all of your weekly laundry in the washing machine at the same time. Yeah, we know you should do like colors by like colors, but in this case, I always wash like material with like material. So preferably all of like my gym clothes obviously i also wash cotton like flannels and stuff along with that hoodies along with that anything that is not abrasive let's think about like denim i don't really wash denim anything with like an exposed zipper or like a button something that could snag the material so i have a lot of amplify leggings it's a very delicate material if you have them you you know what i'm talking about a little bit of um like velcro even if it hits it in the gym with my ankle strap it'll pull and snag the fabric so you definitely don't want to throw this in with something that has a zipper like a, a zip up hoodie and if you do try to zip it up before you throw it in the wash so that's the biggest tip when it comes to like sweatshirts and stuff that have like these drawstring pulls nothing is worse than getting this out of the laundry and the string is no longer in the hoodie so i always 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 knot them before i put them in the wash just like that so that the string is always going to be intact so that's my first hack for that if i have something that's like a legging i always turn them inside out this is because if something in the washing machine happens to snag the material it's going to be on the inside aka less noticeable um, when i pull it out if that's the case so i always recommend pulling those things inside out same with my sports bras and if it's a shirt when i take them off they're already inside out i do the exact same because it's very delicate material so that's my biggest hack for sure is just making sure that your clothing is inside out especially if you have something like a booty scrunch that tends to be a lot more delicate but because i don't wash my clothes with very abrasive materials um i never have issues and i've had my amplifies i don't even know when i had my first amplify by alpha elite haul i've had these maybe since last black friday maybe almost a year and they look brand new most of my pieces i do have one alpha elite product 
that I ruined in the wash and that's why I'm making this video if it's a sports bra and it has like um you know a removable cup pad I don't really take those out because honestly it's a pain in the butt to have to pop those back in and this one has such a small opening that I don't think it's gonna come out and that tends to happen in the dryer and I'm gonna tell you right now I don't believe in the dryer so you guys are gonna see how I do my full wash and dry process so for example this has a zipper on it and I do not want this edge happen to like I don't know brush my leggings and then cut into it so I always 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 zip things like this up fully then I turn it inside out before I put it in the wash and this is also a very delicate fabric as well so I don't mind washing this with the rest of my clothing i don't know it's just so expensive and the amount of money that we put towards these like it needs to be able to hold up through a brutal lift day while also holding up in the washing machine inside out and i'm sure you're like girl that is annoying but guess what there's nothing more annoying than ruining your favorite pair of leggings okay if it's a super bright pair of leggings and I'm worried about the dye and maybe seeping out into the load and potentially ruining everything else I will tend to wash those separate um, same with light colored leggings like very light grays I don't really have white leggings but like pale pinks or something I'll tend to wash those together just to prevent that from happening but as far as alpha leak goes I don't have any issues with dye um, running out into the water if that makes any sense um, yeah, I don't know. Cotton shorts. And if you have, like, cotton type of shorts, again, anything with a drawstring, tie that thing in a knot. These are just from Target, by the way. Um, just so it doesn't come out, and then you're having to figure out how the heck to get it back in there. Same thing with, like, jackets. I'm going to wash this with these clothes, zip it up. And I just get in the habit, I already tied this one in a knot, I get in the habit of tying it when I take them off. But yeah, man, that's pretty much my method of pre-wash prep. Zip up the zippers, zip up the zippers and turn everything inside out and making sure to pair like material with like material and you should be good so let's go to the washing machine i'll show you guys the detergent that i personally like to use when it comes to my active wear and what i do not put in the load and then what settings i put the machine on as well and here we go so separated all of the white clothes and we're doing a load of colors right now so like colors with like colors and there's a lot of clothes y'all so we gotta get the step in So I have a washing machine that doesn't have one of those like stick things in the middle which works out for me because when the cycle goes like this that can definitely stretch out your leggings knot them up and tear them apart. So this washing machine already has detergent you know preloaded and then this is where fabric softener goes. My other tip stop putting fabric softener in your workout clothes load it softens the fabric right it will definitely add a lot more wear and tear when it comes to your leggings and mess with the stretchability of them so if you are someone that's all about the fragrances and making your laundry just smell so good post-workout stop doing that because it's actually ruining your clothes so i don't have any tied here actually so i mean it's loaded in here but i ran out of the bottle um i don't know what this is i don't use this i use tied but um, regular detergent without softener. Don't put this in your workout clothes because it's going to cause your material to change. So I'm just gonna turn this thing on, turn it on a regular cycle. And then for temperature, I always wash, I know this is probably like, I don't know, um, interesting, but I use warm water, not hot, because I don't want my stuff to shrink, and obviously I'm using colors, so I'm not going to do cold. So warm water, regular load, normal cycle, and that's pretty much it. That That's all. 
just don't put softener that's like the big thing i know we want to have like things smelling the best so you put in all of the um scent boosters that's definitely going to add build up to your legging material as well and i feel like it's going to make the stretch not so stretchy over time same with the fabric softener so avoid that mystique if you are doing that stop it like just do two loads a week if you're worried about you know sweat smells and all that stuff another tip if you are throwing your towels in the same load as your workout gear stop it stop being lazy and separate the two this has a lot of lint and sometimes it will stick you guys saw that sports bra in the beginning where i destroyed it um all of my other bras look amazing that's the only one that i destroyed and i said oh no we're not doing this to anything else we are not so that lint can stick and tear up and rough up the delicate fabric and the material so separate linens towels sheets hand towels all that stuff and just stick to washing your active wear and like hoodie material if you're going to um and then my next tip is to not put these things in the dryer that's also where it's going to attract a lot of lint the heat is going to definitely mess with the fabric over time it's not going to be as smooth and buttery soft it's going to have like a rough texture just like that sports bra that i destroyed so you want to keep them looking fresh and like new and that is like the biggest secret is to stop putting your clothes in the dryer so you're like well how am i supposed to dry my stuff okay so i just put my clothes in the dryer but obviously just like the cotton stuff this is what y'all need to get okay it folds down you can store it under your bed in a closet this is how i hang up all my stuff and because it's workout attire it tends to dry so fast like it doesn't hold a lot of water um in the laundry so you don't have to wait that long and here we go this is all of my sports bras tops and leggings um basically all the stuff that i'm not putting in the dryer so i want to show you because you guys saw what that sports bra in the beginning looked like this just went through the wash brand new do you see any balling any peeling any weird rough patterns or textures no so this is what you want something to come out of the laundry looking brand new no lint attached to it like it just looks crisp so that is the trick to washing everything and i just hang everything up there's no rhyme or reason to it honestly doing laundry is kind of therapeutic i do turn my leggings back to the right side i also want to show you with this amplify material if you have it you know it is very delicate do you see again any balling any peeling any pulled strings no it looks brand new so i don't know maybe you learned some tips in this video that you can utilize for all of my fit girls watching this video stop ruining your active wear and start taking good care of it period and then here's just a top so again you can just see no lint collecting still stretchy smells fresh like you don't need to add all those scent boosters like i said all that's going to just add is residue to your materials sit back sit back relax relax ease your mind just a little bit sit back we coming back like Fila, trying to be a good man, call myself a keeper. I ain't scared of death, I play spades with the reaper. Music in my soul and my heart's in the speaker. I say, whoa. Trying to find a wife, I can't mess with no Can't settle for less, no sir, I can't Never cookie cutter cause I don't fit in the mold If you can't stay in your lane, then please get off the road Sit back, sit back, relax Ease your mind, just a little bit Sit back, sit back, relax Ease your mind, just a little bit Sit back, sit back, relax Ease your mind, just a little bit 
Sit back, relax, ease your mind just a little bit. Started with a Civic and I'm leaving in a coupe. Two minute file, keeping fuel up in the loop. Ain't been getting money, so this'll be new. People they be talking, I got too much to lose. Never had no options, but now I pick and choose. Loving me some me, wouldn't wanna be you. Doing what I want and I'm making my rules. I was just broke, now I'm dripping in juice. Sit back, sit back, relax, relax. Eat your mind, just a little bit. Sit back, sit back, relax. 